Hi everyone, I'm Jules. The question was, how do I help my child transition to a new activity or move them on from something they're really enjoying and get them to understand the concept of, we're gonna do something different. We're not packing away your game, taking it away. We're actually just gonna move on to a new activity. So the way I do this in sessions is I teach it quite slowly and at the child's pace, but I also use my visuals, I use my hands, I use repetition, and I use myself doing the activity and transitioning to help them understand it's not that you know they're in trouble, we're packing away their toys or anything like that. If they've had any experience like that previously with any other therapy or anything in that of that nature, we make it positive, fun, informative. We help them understand that they are part of the pack away and the finish and that what's going to happen is something that they do enjoy next. And I'm on maternity leave, so all my resources are at the clinic, but I did dig up a whiteboard. So what I'll have is on Velcro, I have these one, two, three, or I can actually have the image of the activities. So I might have... Um, like Play-Doh here, picture of Play-Doh. Then we might have some bubbles and then we might have some cars, okay? So this is when I, I know the child, I've worked with them and I'm getting them used to understanding how the session works or how we go through little activities or things at home. It is important to learn how to transition, but also at the child's pace, okay? So we're not going to just be ripping, taking things away. It's finished. It's done. We do it slowly so that they understand that concept, not that you just take their things away and, you know, they just have to deal with that. So we're actually showing them uh, just like they would be at preschool or at home, you know, sometimes you've got to pack away. It's time to go to the doctor or it's time to have your snack. It's time to go to bed, whatever. So I'll have the activity set out and as always, I'll do them. So I'll sit there and I'll, let's say number one uh, was Play-Doh, I'll, I'll play with that. If they're really, really into Play-Doh and that's something that they're learning uh, to pack away, I obviously won't start with that one. I'll start with something less, um, less that they're attached to. Now they do need to play with their activities that they really like. So if they're really into Play-Doh, keep providing that at home, keep giving that opportunity to play with things that they really enjoy because it also can be relieving for them, stress management and helping them to regulate and um, bring their stress levels down, help regulate their uh, body, their emotions. So let's just back to this one. Let's say I'm doing the cake. I'll do cake and then I'll finish and I'll pack it away. Then I'll bring out the bubbles. I know they really love the bubbles. So we'll play that for a bit and then I'll let them know, okay, we're going to finish soon. We're going to pack it away. And I have a pack away song and a routine where we pack them back into their container or the box that I have with all the toys or even the cupboard. And then we'll finish and we'll pack that away. And then we'll get out and play the cars. So I always use activities that the child really enjoys and likes. And they start to understand the concept that they do get their activity. They do um, move through the activities at their own pace and that we do restart the board. So then I'll bring out another three activities that they really like and ask them, what would you like to choose? So that's just a step into how we transition and I'll do a real example with my son so that you guys can see how it works.